Well, COVID-19 testing is guiding most of the decisions about how to reopen our state, but inconsistencies with those numbers make it hard to get a clear understanding of what's happening. CBS 19's David Littman shows us what's caused some major swings this month and what's being done to correct it. The COVID-19 positivity rate is one of the main numbers that Governor Greg Abbott and others use when making decisions about what's safe. But check out what happened this month. On July 31st, the weekly rate was 12% and falling. But by the 11th, it had more than doubled. And then it dropped even faster and is now down below 12%. At the same time, there were a few days with very few tests reported and some with an extraordinarily high number of tests. That's what caused the positivity rate to swing so wildly. Turns out there was a large backlog that DSHS is working to clear. The state's reporting software was never meant to handle the volume of tests that have been run for COVID-19. So DSHS did an upgrade on August 1st. When they did, they realized that some of the biggest healthcare providers in Texas, including Walgreens and Christus Health, were submitting results in multiple batches a day. And when the old software got overtaxed, it created an error that meant hundreds of thousands of tests never got counted. And since positive tests also get sent to local public health districts and then up to the state, there were some days when there were a few tests, but lots of positive cases and vice versa. All told, DSHS estimates that the backlog contained 350,000 tests. Most of them have cleared out now, but a spokesperson said there's a lot of cross-checking going on, so the fix isn't finished. DSHS says there could be more days coming up with numbers that look out of the ordinary, but in 2020, what is ordinary? We've got you covered. David Littman, CBS 19.